Welcome back and new at six. Downtown revitalization in Macomb is nearing completion tonight. City officials say the project is scheduled to be done by December and business owners say they are glad to see things moving along after some road bumps along the way. WGEM's Charity Bell reports. At first, it was very trying for us. It took about three and a half months for it to be finished. Michael's Hair Designers sits on the west corner of Macomb's downtown square, where the second phase of the downtown revitalization project started. Manager Tina Mahoney says it's a challenge. For us, it was more of an irritant as far as trying to get the handicap and the elderly in. There was several times that I had to reschedule clients in order to push them back, thinking that the sidewalk would be done and it wasn't. Here on the other side of the square, where the next portion of the project is underway, Macomb Mayor Mike Inman says construction crews have also experienced some challenges. They're delayed a little bit because of some weather issues that occurred earlier in the construction process. So we're, we're uh, still hoping that it'll be uh, finished this construction season. Inman says there's a possibility a request will be made to the Illinois Department of Transportation by the contractor to extend the deadline. He says they recently learned that IDOT would ship in another $195,000 to cover unforeseen costs, bringing the total state commitment to about $1.5 million. Mahoney says she's glad the west side of the square is complete because it's now Americans with Disabilities Act compliant. I'm looking forward to more people maybe coming to the square with the new lighting and the wider sidewalks and maybe families coming up to walk around. Charity Bell, WGEM News, Macomb. And Inman says the east side of the square is about a fourth of the way done, which will go down to Randolph Street and include the 100 block of East Jackson. He says next they will move to the north and south side of the square. And if the weather continues to cause delays, he says construction crews will pause and pick up back in the spring.